Mic check one two. Mic check one two. Uh, I'm gonna share this. Just doing a little. I'm I'm here. I'm just gonna leave that up on the screen for um for people that um who didn't know what uh, Sony was going to do. The claim up and down that um it was never gonna happen. Uh, All right, so just going to wait for a few more, hopefully to come on down. So. And then open up a window. There we go. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> so what's happening, everybody? What's happening? What's happening? Hmm. So I'm showing this. I want everybody to see this. I wanted to open up with this because um, I've been at work. Uh, I work in a medical field. So um, what's up, Ice Queen? All right. So I work in a medical field, and of course, you know, we're under a um, state of emergency. So I've been at work the last three days for at least. 12 to 15 hours a day, getting stuff ready, about to deploy into the field. What's up, Lincoln Clay? Lincoln Clay, if you're free, if you want to jump on, brother, be, you're more than happy to. Uh, but I've got a got a long thread here. I'm gonna I'll be here till about 10:30. I do have to go to the grocery store at 10:30. Of course, you know my limousine will come pick me up at 11. But I was up going on uncompetitive. So, um, um, but I want this up there and I want you to look right there um, where it says, um, let's see here. I'm trying to find this screen. I want you to look right here when this was said, okay? I really want you all to look and see when, when this was said. Cause this was said in August of 2019 few days before my birthday. So we have August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So almost one year, almost a year to the day where Sean Layton said, Sony opened the PC versions of PlayStation exclusives. Okay, now again, I was on a uh, shout out to King Thrash and the round table. They literally were saying Sean Layton was only talking about multiplayer. I'm gonna read you what Sean Layton said eight months ago. We must support the PlayStation platform. That's non-negotiable, Layton said. That said, this is a quote, you will see in the future some titles, again, some titles coming out of my collection of studios, which may need to lean into a wider install base. So, Says Bloomberg article context suggests Layton was referring not to PlayStation games appearing on Nintendo or Microsoft consoles, but to PC versions of multiplayer design play, titles designed with that in mind. So this is one article where they clearly say that their exclusives are going to some of their exclusives will be going to PC. Uh, I'm trying to find another article. Let me stop sharing. 
Let me stop sharing that one. Let me go to digital trends. Um, so, so uh, now the problem we have here is that because of the article, they say that Layton was only talking about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Layton was only talking about multiplayer games and that's that's not true i mean and again I, we got a situation here where just because people can read doesn't mean they can comprehend what's being said shout out to everybody in the chat i'm just lining up another article for you all to see what's up william wildebeest we're going to go to digital trends and uh let me see if i can pull this up. Uh, let's let's let me see here. I believe, da, 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 da. What is in my window here? All right, digital trends is in my window, so let me drop that one. Go to digital trends. Okay. Uh, Sony exclusives landing on both PlayStation Four and PC. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the, this is guys, this is from August of last year. Sony Con, all right. It's possible that could change in the future with Select. There it is again. Select, this is another article, Digital Trends. Select Sony exclusives landing on both PlayStation 4 and PC. Okay. Select Sony exclusives landing on both PlayStation 4 and PC. What, but you have a group of people who can't read and comprehend. And just because you can read doesn't mean you can comprehend. It's like you may be able to talk, but it doesn't make you intelligent. Now, I have been able to pull these two articles. I knew this day was coming. I'm like, well, they said this is going to happen. So here, there's nothing to damage control because we literally, I'm literally reaching back. And I think, what does Lucas say? You got to bring receipts. I guess that's what I'm doing. So what you have here, what you have here is a group of people who did not believe what Sony was, excuse me, that Sony was going to follow through with this. And that that tells me two things. One, they don't they don't comprehend well. Number two, uh, not only do they not comprehend, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. So, and um, number three, uh, these are the same guys that were telling you they want to know what Sony and PlayStation's future is and, and all this kind of stuff. And now that they've got their clarification, which I'm the happiest about, let me make this clear. I'm happy that we have clarification because we have um, we have a uh, Herman Holtz uh, saying that. Um, so um, and I'll, I'll put this article up here. because I, I found this one. OK, I'm just I mean, you all need to see this because you all need to understand that you have a group of people online who know what the heck they're talking about. They can't comprehend Now I found this one. OK, all these articles are from August of, of 2019. All these articles are from August of 2019. Future PlayStation games could release on PC to reach more players than just sign late. OK. So why are we having a, why are these guys having a problem with Sony doing exactly what was suggested eight months ago? All right. That's what I want you to ask yourselves that. So, oh yeah, work Lincoln Clay, okay. So, nah. Mm. Ah. And even says right there, the times they are a changing. So again, um, you, Sony is going to release select games to PC. You've now seen the articles after articles, quote after quote. Now, it's not Sony's fault that you didn't believe it or you didn't comprehend that. Okay? 
It's not. It's not Sony's fault that you didn't believe it or comprehend it. And if you didn't didn't believe it, that's your fault. I mean, I love how these people say these companies are going to do what they want, but then and that's exactly what they. This company actually told you what they were, tr- were going to try to do. They're starting to do it, and then you get mad. I mean, like I said, you got hoeing. Okay, you got you got hoeing. What's up, Pedros? Because what is your problem? All right, you you get this is the same group of people that were saying, "Well, I need to know what Sony's future is. I need to understand what exactly Herman Holtz and um, and uh, which call it are going to do. Uh, uh, Jim Ryan are going to do. Now you have clarification, which we're going to get into that. And just keep on busting your cheeks. And um, so um, PlayStation do what Xbox does? No, they're not. They've been. They've already had games on multiple devices since 2014. Sorry to. I mean, if you, if you didn't know that, I'm sorry. We can actually pull that up here after I get done busting these other guys' cheeks. We'll bust yours. So um, let's uh, go to, let me stop sharing. Share the care unless you're clear. There's that. Um, there. This. Let me go to what's this one? No, not that one. Let's go to is it the verge? Um, no, not that one. Maybe it's this one. No, it's not that one. Oh, in case you didn't know, the PS5, the base PS5 console is, is starting. What's going on, CRU? Did you um did you ever get your board working right? Was it your board? So you're damn right, Rudy Legends. It's busting cheeks this morning. I mean, I I I here's what I don't like. I don't like when people say, I want to know the direction something's going, then they get full proof on what's going on, but then they don't believe it. I, just say I don't believe it. Just, just simply say I don't believe what um, what, the, what what's being said to me. Okay, I just rather you do that. You know, <laughs> yeah. Nintendo has exclusive Maharaj. You're right about that. Where in the world? Okay, here's what I was looking for. Now, now, um, let me share my screen. So, because Sony is doing this, Herman Holtz, uh, you know, makes a clarified statement, and, and so that everybody knows the fan base, the shareholders, the potential stock buyers, um, they they all are like, oh no, they're going to put all their games on PC. Now, the boss of PlayStation says not every PS4 exclusive guarantee for PC release. Now. That's from the boss. Now, what we have here, let me and let me make this clear so I'm fair. I want to be fair. I'm I'm giving this is a direct quote from this from the boss of PlayStation. Okay. Now, I want to make this clear. If you don't believe what you're being told, that I got no, that's fine. I rather you just come out, man up or woman up, cowboy up, and say, I know that's what that, that I know that's what was said. I don't believe it. I think that's okay. Let me make this clear. Going forward, I think that's okay. You're not gonna get any argument from me if you say, "Yeah, I know that's what he said, but I don't believe it." I think that's fair. But, but there are a bunch of people who are like, "Yeah, I I believe that." People ask me, uh, "Shout out to Sick Humor." Last night he said, "Do you believe this?" And I said, "Yes." And, and, and uh, he asked me why. So if you weren't listening to it, I what I explained to Sick Humor was they the the president of a of a company or a part of a company can't come out on Monday and tell you one thing, and then on Thursday do something totally different because things are already in place to start moving in this direction. Now we've known they were going to be moving in this direction. It for eight months because Sean Layton said this is what they were going to do. So 
But what I like, he says, uh, it says this, but with Horizon headed to PC, does this mean, this is the question, okay? But, but with Horizon headed to PC, does this mean that every PlayStation exclusive is up for grabs? Is this Sony's new strategy? Clearly, not necessarily according to head of, okay. Now this is from the, uh, now, now we're gonna now, not necessarily according to the head of PlayStation Worldwide Studios, Herman Holtz. Now here's his quote. Here's a quote, let's just read his quote, all right? It says, and to put a few minds at ease, Releasing one first-party AAA title to PC doesn't necessarily mean that every game now will come to PC, Hope states in a new interview. Says, in my mind, in my mind, Horizon Zero Dawn was just a great fit in this particular instant. We don't have plans for, for day and day PC releases, and we remain 100% committed to dedicated hardware. Okay. This one right here is where people say it because he says, well, he said he, he, he didn't say it definitively because they, they can't give you a definitive answer. If he had said, we are definitely not going to do it, these fuck niggas would still be complaining and saying that, well, just because he said that, look, you got this PC, you got the PC community saying that, literally saying, well, even if he says that, he doesn't mean it. Like I said, you got a group of these of these idiots still still going to turn around and say, no matter what they say, I don't believe them. And if that's where you're at, that's fine. But but do not sit up there and shit your own bed to spite your face. OK, you sat up there and you said. I want to know what Sony's direction is. And now that you know what Sony's direction is, you don't like it. Man up and say, I don't like Sony's new direction. It's, it's not hard. It's not difficult. They, now, they told me this eight months ago. They told me that they were going to put select games on PC. How does Craig know that? Because I actually read and comprehended the articles that they released. It's not my fault that there's a group of you all who didn't do that. And so there's nothing to damage control because they already said they were going to do this. So this group of people that says, well, they're going to do day and day. No, they're not. No, they're not. How do I know they're not? Because they don't have any plans to do it. And since they don't have any plans to do it, they're not just going to wake up to this morning and say, yeah, we're going to we're going to do that because they've already had their shareholders meeting. They're already uh, well into Q1. These are decisions that are made in Q3 of each year. Sean Layton's statement is from Q3 of 19. So if they get to Q and in Q3 this year, what are they going to be talking about? The PS5. So they're not going to do it. So I mean, again, so are there? So not only do, do we have Herman Holt saying this, we've got Jim Ryan also saying this. So you got the two heads of this company of this of this part of the company, okay? You got the two heads of this part of the company saying we're not gonna do it. That's the end of the discussion. Now, if you wanna have a bitch discussion and say, well, I don't care what they say, that's, I can't, it, right, right there, that's that's on you. I'm not gonna sit up there and attack, uh, and attack that because that's what you believe, okay? But here we have it directly from the source. We're not gonna do it. Then they'll say, well, they don't have any plans to do it. Yeah, guess what? There's no plan for a UFO to crash land at the White House either, but it might happen. I don't have, you know, Brie Larson may show up at my door with a 40 of OE and a bottle of Moet and say, hey, let's drink and hang out. There, there, there's, a, there's a chance that that can happen. But realistically, is it going to? Hell no. So, I mean, again, this whole notion is silly now the games that and shout out to jtech the games that sony has co-funded now there's a difference and he is 100 percent correct games like final fantasy and predator hunting grounds and and uh these games that sony has co-funded with major studios okay those games are going to go to pc predator hunting grounds was co-funded by sony and is a multi-black game and it's going to pc day and day but Sony doesn't own the game. They co-funded it. Uh, Detroit Become Human 
is owned by Square, not, I'm sorry, not Square, Quantic Dream Studio. Okay, did Sony help co-fund the game? Yep, but they don't own the game. It's going to PC. Uh, Kojima's last game, Death Stranding. Okay, Death Stranding is going to PC. Sony does not own Death Stranding. Kojima made Death Stranding. Kojima Productions made Death Stranding. Did Sony help him make the game? Absolutely. Absolutely. He used Sony's game engine. Sony bought the studio, got, you know, got him all the stuff he needed. They co-produced the game. But it's Kojima's game. Okay? And like I said, you got a bunch of butthurt people out here. You know who can't who don't comprehend the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. So you know it's that simple. So <laughs> well, Bree's right. Well, then she's not coming over. So yeah, then Bree's not coming over to my place. So but I say you got these butthurt porch monkeys out here who wanted who who wanted clarification on what Sony is going to do. They got their clarification and they don't like it. Well, why don't you man up and say, I don't like the direction that they're going in. I, I respect that. Cowboy up. I don't like the direction. Hey, look, I know what Herman Holt said. Fine. I know what Jim Ryan said. Fine. I don't believe. It. Fair enough. You know, just like, I, I, OK, we deal with people like that all the time. OK, even though Kevin Feige, who runs Marvel, who, who runs Marvel, OK? Reports to one man, Alan Horn. Okay. Kevin Feige said, you know, we're, we don't have any plans for mutants to show up in the MCU for two to three years. Okay. We have to, we have to set the plate. We have to set the table for them to show up. Even though Kevin Feige said that, guess what? There's a group of people online saying, I don't believe what Kevin Feige said. That's just, that's reality. That's the reality. That's that's the world we live in. Okay, what's up, Eric? That's the world we live in. So I understand. I respect the fact that you don't like the direction, and you can say I don't believe what's what was what uh, I don't I don't like the direction that their Sony's going in. But you're not going to sit up here and lie to me and say that Sony never planned on doing this. That's bullshit. Okay, that's bullshit. So, yeah, my, yeah, Hans, yeah. I, I guess me showing the fact that Sony was going to put games on PC is damage control. You all don't even know what that means. So, so yeah, it's it's this is hilarious. Okay, so even though Hans, even though Peter, even though Hans, even though Sony said that uh, they were going to do this, um, that's there's nothing to damage control. So. And you need to understand the Xbox community does not like the fact that, that Microsoft put their games day and date on PC. Okay. If you don't believe me, you can go back to the to, to find where Crap Gamer got, got into that little back and forth with Phil Spencer. Okay. All right, you don't you don't have to believe me. You can just go go back and do that. You can go back and check that out. They don't like the fact because it does devalue the brand. So all they've got left to say is, well, Sony's going to do it, too. On top of that, you have people in the PC community, and I'm in the PC community, okay? I have a gaming PC that's an absolute beast, okay? I have a beast rig, okay? I guess that's what uh, you kids would call it. Um, the fact that I've got this beast rig, that they don't have nothing to play. So they see you guys playing. I'm talking about the PlayStation community. They see you guys playing games like Uncharted and Neo, and which I think Neo is going to PC, you know, Bloodborne and stuff like that. They see you playing those games. They see you all streaming and they get mad. Okay. They get mad. So. You know, oh, well, Game of the it's not about them buying it day one. I mean, they can, if grown ass men and women can buy what they want, but you're not going to sit up there and say, ah, oh, well, you know, Sony never said they were going to do this. That's bullshit. 
That is bullshit. I just showed you, I showed you three articles where Sony said this is exactly what they were going to do. Now, you need to man up and just tell the people who are following you, hey, I didn't believe Sony was going to do this, but Sony's doing it anyway. Yes, there's even though there's articles, direct quotes from the company, the company never came out and said, yeah, we are, we don't plan on doing that. Even when Sean Layton left, they didn't come out and say, yeah, th th these statements that Sean Layton said, you know, these are incorrect. We don't plan on doing this. They never said that. So, uh, no, they don't. If, if, Roger, if they had plenty of games to play, they wouldn't be bitching and port banging, period. What they don't understand is that Sony is dedicated to the hardware space, and so is Nintendo. They're going to have to get over that in order for those companies to push their hardware they need software exclusively on there period okay that's that's the truth that's why it's called brandy popeyes has a chicken sandwich that people were getting shot over popeyes could have put their could have said hey we can we're going to put our chicken sandwich at kfc and and and, and lee's famous recipe and church's fried chicken but they didn't do that they wanted you to come to popeyes for their chicken sandwich so well yeah bring it up yeah the sony isn't doing day and day on pc and that's what's burning the people's asses and this is for anybody who doesn't understand is what burns the people's asses the hardest is the day and date release. They are desperate for Sony to do the same thing because they hate, again, again, they don't, the console war is over. They don't have any exclusives. So they got nothing, to, to me, there's nothing for them to talk about. Okay? There's nothing to talk about. So uh, Sean said this back in 18. Well, again, I don't know about 18 for the simple fact that I can't find any articles. I did show articles where Sean Layton said they were going to be doing this from eight months ago. So what well, again, you got a bunch of niggas out here who can't comprehend, who don't want to believe it. And now that it's happening, they're running around. Oh, this is terrible. I can't believe Sony's doing this. It's just like, get the fuck out of here. You know, I mean, here they, they these are the same people that wanted clarification on what Sony was going to do. And now that they have their clarification, is oh, this is bad. I mean, they already told you they were gonna do this. You know, <laughs> no, I'm not going to block him. So he said selected games. Were going, yeah, I know that. Yeah. And I showed those articles. And, and the, the fact is, is that I've no, we've known that for months. OK, I literally have sat here and said, um, as soon as they, what have I said? It's not official to the company says it. I'm not going to really talk about it to the company says. It. So that's what I'm doing now. You know, <laughs> so now that that's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. So um, gamers need to separate from the fanboys because no gamer cares about it. I, Corey, I agree with you. And I think that's what's happening right now. I think that's what's happening right now. The, the fanboys are going to say, excuse me, the fanboys are going to say, well, this is damage control. But I don't know how you damage control something that's been reported eight months ago. You see what you see what I'm saying? It's almost like if Corey, if you've got a restaurant on Third Street and you tell everybody coming into that restaurant, hey, on April 15th, we're gonna go ahead and move to Fifth Street. All right. And then April 15th comes, you move to Fifth Street. From Third Street, you start you start doing your food, and a bunch of people show up on Third Street talking about, well, yeah, you said that's what you were going to do, but you know what? We we didn't really believe it, and then they start bitching and moaning because you went from Third Street to Fifth Street. It's just like, man, get the fuck out of here! Like literally, get the fuck out of here! You are a fanboy, okay? You're a fanboy. So again, Microsoft, the the people who like Xbox. Don't care that Xbox put their games on PC. They don't care. But shout out to you, Eric. Appreciate you. Uh, the dollar ninety nine super chat bots are moist and delusional. Yeah, they are. But there's there's people in the PlayStation community that are moist as hell. The cool thing is is that you now have heard from them. So 
you just picked up a new game. Oh, what you playing there? Yeah, I'm gonna get back into playing and uh, into gaming here during this podcast. So, you know, just it is what it is. Well, I mean, again, I don't. Sony said they were gonna put select. Uh, what did Sean Layton say? I will put select. There will be select games from my library that will be going to PC. That's it. That's the. He said that eight months ago. So uh, end of discussion. And if they're going to come out with a PS5 that's not going to play PS4 games, and then you go out and buy the PS5, your PS4 is just going to be sitting there. Okay? Your PS4 will be sitting there until the PS5 library really takes off. And then you'll be like, all right, I'm not even going to play these PS4 games. You know? So. So Sean Layton was, yeah, August the 20th, 2019, three days before my birthday. So, you know, hit that like button, people, and share it. So tell them Craig's over here busting people's cheeks. You know, so PC has trash games. Well, again, they do have some trash. They got some games that I do like, but it, but they, look, do you all have, you can connect to Twitch via your PlayStation and stream your games. Those PC gamers see you all streaming those games and they get mad. You know, I've streamed Horizon Zero Dawn on Twitch years ago. I mean, it was like, you know, like it was years ago. And I had all these PC guys coming into that little chat window, you know, on the side saying, wow, this, I would love to play this on my PC. I bought a 10, something called a 1070 Ti. I would love to run this game at 60 frames. I mean, they were saying this three years ago. So, you know, it just it is what it is. But uh, yeah, like I said, you got a bunch of moist ass fruit booties running around out here saying they want new, they want direction, they want to know what Sony's going to do. Now you have it. Now, if you don't believe it, that's that's fine. I'm not here to, I'm not going to, because you don't argue with people who believe their own lies. You know, if I tell you the bus is going to be there at 11 o'clock and you need to be at the bus stop by, you know, 1050, that way if the bus comes 10 minutes early, it won't be a big deal. And then your black ass goes to the bus stop at 1110. Don't come back crying, talking about, well, I missed the bus. And, you know, I was like, well, I'm going to say, well, what time did you get to the bus stop? Well, I didn't get there until 10 after 11. I'm going to be like, Fuck nigga to the 13th power. Fuck nigga to the 13th power. Do you not realize you were supposed to be at the bus stop at 11 o'clock? Okay? And that's what these guys sound like to me. And again, it's it's literally, it's not everybody. It is not everybody. Because again, I understand that if the game is just, that you have a president who says, you know what? We want to expand our mar- our margins here. So we're going to put game. Now, of course, the Xbox community, because, again, they hate, they absolutely hate the fact that games went day and date. They're going to say, well, Sony's going to have to do the same thing. Sony's going to do the same thing. No, Sony is not going to do the same thing. Microsoft is no longer dedicated to the hardware space. OK, they're getting into cloud gaming. That has nothing to do with hardware. OK, that has more to do with how you're going to deliver. And the, the technology that they want to develop is the delivery of it. Now, the people who say, well, they're making another console. Yeah, they're making another console. But it's just kind of like, they're not going to have no games for it for two years. And not only, they told us that. So again, let's go back to this. What if you run out and buy this? If they run out and buy the Series X and you start bitching because, um, you start bitching and moaning because um, there are no games for it. I'm going to be like, fuck nigga to the 13th power. They told you there were going to be no games for it for two years. That's 24 months. All right. So don't, if you buy the Series X, don't complain about the lack of first party games. Because once again, I will do a, I will, I will do another podcast and I will bust your cheeks. Because if you're buying that thing knowing openly knowing as a consumer that they're not going to have games for you for two years. So why don't you man up and just say, yeah, you know what? I, I, I know that there's no games coming for two years. I know there's no, there's no games coming for two years, but I bought it anyway, because that's what you're doing. The same here. Sean Layton said almost a year ago. Yeah. Some of our games, select games will go to PC. 
We, we've seen it in print now. So it is you. You're the one who could not comprehend. You're the one who didn't believe it. That's why you're over here bitching and moaning. And I'm like me and, and, and like me, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. OK, so if you do not understand, if, if you want to say that you don't believe what, what you're being told, I think that's fair. Right, let me make that clear. I think that's fair. But what are you going to do? Wait for uh, four, four to seven years and say, oh, well, you know what? The game's still not on PC. So, uh, you know what? Uh, maybe I was wrong. It's just man up and say, yeah, I don't like this new direction Sony is going in. I don't think they should put their games on PC. And uh, but I'm done talking about it. I, you know, you're either going to have to make your bones with it, you know, make your peace with it and just move on. And you can say I'm not going to buy their stuff first day because I'm going to wait for two to three years. You did. You know, just, you know, that's fine. Which, again, you're a consumer and, and it's OK to say, yeah, I'm not going to buy it because I'm just going to wait for the game to go to PC. Now, guess what? If you don't go out and buy it, that's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. So again, I I I love it because they people say yeah, Horizon Zero One went to PC, Horizon Zero Dawn Two is going to come to PC, but it's not going to come to PC day and date. How do I know that? Because that's what Herman Holtz and Jim Ryan have said. They've said it on multiple occasions, so it's not going to happen. Okay, they said it last year. They're in, which was Q4. They're now saying it. In Q1, about to go into Q2, so it's not going to happen, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, but Halo Infinite will be on all games, will be on all platforms. Therefore, it's not a launch exclusive game. Sony is going to have launch exclusive games, meaning that they are going to have games that are only going to be on PS5. So, and again, that that's another thing that got clarified that nobody's talking about. People are like. Well, you know, um, you, you, you know that, uh, yeah, you're right, White Zaddy. You're going to be talking about him here in a minute. So, <laughs> um, you know, so it's this this is amazing that this has happened. So, <laughs> so, well, Hans Peter, most people don't care. I mean, that puts you in the majority of people. So, and again, I, I, I simply am going to say, I, this is why I've said multiple times, it's all rumor. Until the company comes out and confirms it. So that you know, Sony confirmed they were going to be putting select games on PC almost a year ago. So there's nothing more to talk about. You want Lockhart? Well, hopefully we get some information on Lockhart. It's supposed to be what four? It's supposed to be a digital-only console, four teraflops of a Navi GPU, maybe five, and um it's also supposed to do target 1440p gaming in 60 frames a second. So let me make this clear. I'll definitely have to look into that. I, I will look into that. You know, this, I'm going to be 100 percent, you know, and look into that. And I, I recommend if you buy the lock car, get a 1440p monitor with HDR. Go ahead and get that right now to start saving. So. Uh, the Sony platform, uh, I need to give a big shout out to Foxy Games UK because he said 11.6 T-flops. And uh, it's starting to look like that's what we're going to get on the low end. Okay, there may be a, there's a higher end model, this 13.3 to 13.6 T-flops that uh, could come out. They may, they may come out with that. But it looks like that's kind of the way things are starting to break. Now, why, why are people getting this information? It's because with E3 being canceled, the, the developers are starting to squeak. Okay, they're starting to squeak about what's going on, you know. <laughs> and, it, and since they're squeaking about what's going on, um, it's, it's looking more and more like 11.6 to 13.3. So, and I still think they're going to settle on anywhere from from, to, from about a, to about 11.6. To 12.2. That's where I think it's going to come in at. Again, right at about a Vega 64 in GCN, which I think in Navi is like, you know, 10.8 to 11.6 or something like that. So we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, but yeah, we'll wait and see. I mean, again, that's, I was told it's going to be anywhere from 11.11 11 to 13. But my, my point is that within within four days, 
Because on Sunday, people were saying it was 9.2. And then somebody else came out and said, well, now it's 10.3. And then another leak happened, and they said it was 11.6. Then another leak happened. And they said it was it was it was you know. So I pref- I'm just gonna I mean, but people are like, well, why are, why are people now reporting this? It's like, well, because um, it's looking more and more like that's it's going to come down to something like um, anywhere from a 11.6 to 12.2. So I have to wait and see though. I'm more than I mean, it's going to be enough to do 4K. Matter of fact, hold on. Let's look at the leak specs here. Let's let's have some fun here. And, you know, after I busted some cheeks, so um, we 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 now understand that not every PlayStation game is going to go to PC. We now understand that Sony said that they were going to be doing this over eight months ago. Okay, we understand that now. Okay, if you don't understand it, I left the links in the description so that you can go back and after you have your preparation H and you and you know and you stop you know grinning bearing it after getting your cheeks busted. Uh, that's that's you can go back and look at the actual facts. So, but uh, but let's look at these leaked specs here. Um, because you all right now, you all remember the podcast I did called Ghost Merc is an Idiot, and uh, Ghost Merc is the guy that sent me those uh, <laughs> those uh, PS5 uh, specs. Remember that they were only went up to 1440p, it was Navi 10, and of course, we already knew that Mark Cerny had confirmed that. The PS5 is going to be 4K native and have ray tracing and stuff like that. So we already knew that, but he—I don't know if you guys remember me doing that podcast. It's called Ghost Merc is an Idiot. That's the name of that podcast. He—he he is in a Max Gaming's um, uh, section. I think. Uh, shout out to um, uh, shout out to Corey Massey. I think Corey Massey may know who I'm talking about. He's in Max Gaming's. Um, um, comment section. So, but let me go ahead and uh, what laptop should you get at some point? Um, laptop, I'm not for sure. Let me put this on the screen because I, this needs to be shared before we move on. Uh, I need to wait a minute. Let me cancel that. Um, da, 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 da. Let me cancel that. Let me pull that up. Um, There's that, there's that, there's that. Yeah, now let me, uh, hold on, let me find that. Um, yeah, look at this, this is from Push Square. So this is a pro Sony web page. I guess you want to call it that. But hurt PlayStation fans taken to task by ex gorilla producer over Horizon PC port. Quote, what the hell is wrong with you people? End quote. And, and guess what? I agree with that 100%. I agree 100%, especially when you've been told months ago that it was going to happen. I mean, months ago. All right, but I just want to, I'm going to leave that up on the screen. Oh, actually, I can't. Let me do this. Um, let me go over here. Um, um, let me see here. Um, Da, 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 da. Let me find it. Um, actually, I don't know. I can't believe I'm going to have to do this. I thought I had that ready to go. Um, give me a second here. Oh, what's everybody playing? Um, what is everybody playing? That's what I want to know. Um, let me go here. Let me go to show more. Okay. All right. So I think I have to leave that. Hold on. Let me put that on pause. And uh, where was I? Okay. Here we go. 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 <laughs> So if you don't know, we're, we're about to show you the tech, is a tech power up, okay? And shout out to Corey Massey in the chat. I want him to look at these specs too. Now these are the quote unquote uh, leaked specs uh, for the PS5 GPU. 
And if you didn't know, they these are the leaked specs. This is the website that uh, that idiot Ghost Merc. Uh, he sent me this is, when I pulled up those specs. I think I sent them to uh, Sick Humor. Uh, we all had a big, big kick out of. We were laughing and stuff like that. So, but uh, let's see here. By the way, that Silent Hill rumor is true. Okay, so they came out and confirmed that they're making a Silent Hills game. So, um, I mean, I'm just asking, Game and Aider, have they come out and said that they are making a Silent Hills uh, Part 2 game? So, uh, okay, Warframe, someone's playing Kingdom Come. I haven't been playing anything except uh, first responder stuff. So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, okay. Uh, and if you don't know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone, I think that's what it's called. That's free on PlayStation and PC. And uh, Neo 2, uh, Mr. Reese says, take it with a grain of salt. Fair, that's fine. I mean, we're having a good time today. It's Friday. Like I said, my limo will be here in about another hour. So um, PSVR Rec Room Control. Yeah, there you go. Control, that's a good one. Uh, I'm playing that on PC. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Uh, I like that that girl can float now or levitate. I like that. She can levitate. I be throwing stuff at people. <laughs> so that's that's fun. I'm playing the flight sim. I'm playing control. I do have to cancel my uh, seven day um, hungry shark on cell phone. OK, well, I guess the shark is hungry. Um, I need to try to play because uh, when did I start that? I think I might have one or two more days left with that. Uh, with that PS4 thing. Destiny 2, oh, MCC via Proton. What's Proton? Contra, King Thrash, way, way into the way back machine. I love it. So is that the original Contra? So you gotta stream that Contra. Uh, Contra is a throwback game. Like when we had the Nintendos, you could put in this code on Contra and you got like 25 or 30 lives. And I remember my brother stood up there and had a ball. So had a ball playing that one. And that was the cool thing about Nintendo was that it came with the shooting gun for Duck Hunt. And you can just play it with your family. It came with, I think, two joysticks or game pads. I can't, I think. And uh, you, it was, a, it was fun. It was a good time. So, um, uh, but let's look at the leaked PS5 specs from a uh, tech radar. And this is the same site that these moist fruit booties were using for the Xbox. So this is, uh, I'm, we're just gonna have a little fun here because I know I busted some cheeks and hurt some feelings. So uh, so let's have a little fun here. And uh, let me see if I can pull this up on the screen here. And um, let's see here, application window. So, all right, now, I don't know if you remember the one that uh, Ghost Merc sent me, but if you look where it says recommended gaming resolutions on the left side of the screen, if you guys look over there, uh, it's right here. Now, remember the one Ghost Merc sent me. Remember, he's an idiot. But I don't know if you all remember. He only sent me ones that went to 2560 by 1440p. Now, the reason he did that is because that was based on Navi Light or Navi 10, which is what the 5600 and the XT, the, the car that I'm buying. Oh, next week, by the way, I will be buying that car. It's as good as got. OK, um, I do have to go to Best Buy and get it because Amazon may not be able to get it to me for the, because of the coronavirus. OK, it, because of where it's coming from, they may hold that shipping. They may not, but I don't want to put the money down and then have to wait two to three weeks to get it. Uh, they have them at Best Buy. They have them in stock. I'll be going up there to get them next on the 20th. So, and I will have a, whatever it's called, I will have the unveiling and all that, whatever you want to call it. The I'll show it to you so you guys know the guys that donated, uh, you know where the money went to. Okay, but I want you all to look right here. So Ghost Merc is an idiot. He only sent it to right here. Now, I want to make sure the Navi, the uh, 5700 and 5700 XT, respectively, this is, this is the target they're hitting, the 1080 and 1440p. And th this guy was literally trying to say that um, that um, that the PS5 was not going to do 4K and have ray tracing. Now, we all know that's true. That's not true. We know that. And Mark Cerny's confirmed it. 
Jim Ryan has confirmed it. So it's just, it is what it is. So now we have it shaded up to the 3840 by 2160p. That's 4K for all you all who don't abla. Okay. Because like I said, I know people don't comprehend what they see. All right. But you have the RDNA. This is the PS5, guys. Okay. And according to these, and this, this again is from the same website that these moist fruit booties were quoting just a few weeks ago. This is tech power up or whatever it's called. I mean, like I said, so we're just going to have a little fun here. We're having some fun. Um, RDNA 2, Navi 21, that's Navi 2.0 for, again, if you don't abla, generation console GPU, Sony, release date 2020. Uh, look at the T-flops, 13.6 T-flops. So I'm just, I'm just showing this to you, okay? I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Uh, you know, just, you know, it is what it is. Now, I don't care. I, I, I know the PS5 is going to do ray tracing and 4K and uh, ray tracing audio, 3D audio sound. How do I know that? Because it's been confirmed. So it's, the, it's, it's that's it. It's over. It's done. You know, take your argument. You know, if you don't believe it, haul ass and take your shit somewhere. That's what the PS5 is going to do. But uh, look at this right here. 13.6 T-flops. Now, I'm not saying that this is true because I don't, I mean, I don't know, right? You know, to me, it's a, it, it is what it is. But um, the fact of the matter is, is that if this is true, if this is true, 13.6 T-flops, there's going, people are going to die. I think people are going to explode. You dig? I would be on the floor laughing. Like if Death Stranding had won Game of the Year, I would have been on the floor laughing. Not, I mean, again, not, I didn't think it would win game of the year, so little people don't even try to put that on me. Um, but I would have such, it would be so much fun. I, I would laugh my ass off if this is more powerful. And I'm not saying it will be. I think you're going to be, I said earlier in the podcast, oh, excuse me, shout out to Foxy Games UK, 11.6 is what, um, he said that's the way things are tracking right now. And uh, but it, it could be 13. We'll have to wait and see. And uh, I'm just I'm gonna leave it there. But I just wanted you all to see this so we can have a little fun and uh, you all can uh, have a little fun with that. But that is from Tech Radar, our tech power up. And um, this it is what it is, you know. And I'm just having fun, and I'm not saying it's true. Don't you know, I'm not saying that. Yeah, I think which Colin said, take it with a grain of salt. So it uh, doesn't matter how many T-flops PS5 has a game. Still better. Yeah, there you go. I mean, if you, it's, there you go. That's fine. So, you know, that that is fine. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, yep, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, where was I at? Oh, let's talk about Ori because it seems like nobody's talking about Ori. So White Zaddy loves Ori, okay? White Zaddy loves, them, loves some Ori in the Blind Forest. Well, 11.6 is rounded up to 12 T flops. Is that right? Brigadier Jr. is still playing uh, Sekiro. All right. See, I like the fact you guys are playing your game. Double Dragon, Grudy of Legends is going back into the time machine on that one. Uh, Prince of Persia, wow, another classic. Uh, King Thrash, Hope It's Nine. Okay. Well, I mean, again, it's going to be enough to do 4K and, and Ray Tracing. So, um, but yeah, see, I love the fact that uh, we're, we're, we play it, we're playing our games here. So I think King Thrash took a screenshot of uh, these Xbox dudes were doing. It was like YouTube and Netflix. And it's like, oh my God. <laughs> so even though Microsoft, even though they bitched and moaned about Microsoft making it a media device, you know, a multimedia device, that's exactly what these full retards are doing. That's what they're doing. They're using it as a multimedia device. You need Sekiro. Well, if you really want to look at it like that, that dude ain't got, that dude gives you a sword and he ain't got no shoes on. So um, I can't handle it. But uh, if you want to fight, be in a game where you get a sword and somebody says, you got to go kill a bunch of people, I'm be like, where the hell are your shoes? So, I mean, that's just the way I am. But um so uh, he said it's 11, 5, 7, 6, rounded up to 11.6, which, okay, which rounds up to a whole number of 12. So good grief. Wipeout, my goodness gracious. You play your Xbox, it's great. That's fine. That's fine. 
as long as you like it, right? All right, so let's talk about Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And uh, let's see let's see what the score is today because I know White Zaddy is the, the Xbox community loves White Zaddy. So um, let's uh, let's go over here. Oh, uh, what what about Neo Two? Is anybody playing Neo Two? And uh, how is Neo Two? Uh, let's see here. Um, all right, so let's go to let's go to Zaddy here. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the screen. Cause I am a fair messiah, and uh, there's that, there's that. Okay, so as you can see right here, White Zaddy has this at a ninety, uh, which is good. I mean, you know, I guess I, I, to me, if you like it, it doesn't matter what Zaddy says. But these guys love White Zaddy, and as you can see, White Zaddy, even though he wants a divorce, these guys can't think for themselves, and uh, White Zaddy has given it a ninety. And uh, so that's that's fine. So somebody's playing Duke Nukem. Uh, there you go. There you go. What's up, social joins? Uh, he says 0 0.6 is the power needed by most Nintendo Switch games in the eShop. It's a whole Switch worth of power. <laughs> okay. Um, that's fine. So why do you only have to April 10th to beat Neo? So, again, I don't I don't play games like this. Uncompetitive says 12 is greater than six. Well, they're both 12. Hellfire. I mean, good grief. But all right, then. That's fine. Uh, we're, we're just, come on. We're, we're talking semantics here. We're having fun. Uh, Ori in the Wilderness is a 90. So I, how many of my Xbox dudes is playing Ori in the chat right now? Let's see what you all think of Ori. How is Ori in the Will of the Wisp? Okay. Uh, how is that going? Damn, somebody's playing Parasite Eve. Now you're talking. I love that game. God, I love that game. Corey Madison said Neo 2 is fire. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. What about Ori? Where are these, these Xbox dudes? Where, 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 you know, what's up with Ori? So I don't have Game Pass anymore. So um, like I said, I don't have Game Pass anymore. So and I'm not going to get Game Pass. So, uh, but Ori's got a 90 from White Zaddy. What's up, the almighty Spartan God? So I need to talk to you, almighty Spartan God, um, off off camera here. So uh, maybe in the Discord uh, when I'm done, if you can jump into the Porch Light Podcast Discord. Uh, well, actually, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Shout out to Spartan God. So uh, since downloading it, about to boot it up tonight. Well, all right. Well, leave a comment and let me know how it is. Uh, like I said, because I don't have Game Pass anymore. It expired uh, today. <laughs> Friday the 13th, baby. It expired today. Shout out to the 45 people watching. Hit that like button, even though you got your cheeks busted. Hit that like button anyway, because you know you love your Messiah of Xbox. But uh, yeah, I'm, I, you know, the Messiah right now does not have, um, good grief, what's the name of this? Uh, Game Pass. So they're talking about remaking Parasite E. Don't tease me with that. Don't tease me. It's good, Spartan God. It's good, brother. We, it's good. It's good. So you will watch Ryan's podcast tomorrow. You won't be able to watch tonight's podcast. You're having a family party. Yeah. All right. Well, have fun. Be careful. Guys, wash your hands. Uh, the NCAA tournament. I should, I should have went to the store today to got me some chips and salsa. So I can watch the NCAA tournament. It's canceled because these moist fruit booties got, got out of the R knot and they are no longer able to contain this virus. So if you love stealth, you should play sticks. Well, I may give it a shot. So Hans Peter, your cheeks are still hurting. Well, you can still hit the uh, like button. Uh, don't make. All right, now I want to ask people what's better between Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger? So uh, what is the difference between Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger? But all right, so Ori, guys, I wanted to touch on this one. And I'm gonna look at, we'll look at Neo 2 as well, uh, because again, you, for some reason, you all aren't man enough to make up your own minds, and uh, you always wanna run the white zaddy. And uh, it's, no, it's not dead. We already talked about that, Spartan guy. Um, uh, Sony said they were gonna be putting games on PC, select games on PC. Mm -hmm like eight, nine months ago. We already showed the receipts. You can go look at them yourself. Um, let's see here. Or in the Will of the Wisps. Well, let's, let's look at Neo 2. 
So, um, yeah, insist on uh, – they had to stop NBAs and players insisted on washing their hands in between touching the ball. <laughs> well, the, the NBA – the, the, the NBA, uh, that's suspended, what, till April or for two to three weeks? All they have to do is ability. All they have to do is shut everything down for exactly 15 days. That's all you got to do. That's all you have to do. But it's like they don't want to do it. You know, what is sticks? So, yeah, we already showed the PS5 specs. So uh, 13.6 T flops is what uh, Tech Power Up is saying. So uh, we had a, we had a little fun with it. And look, as soon as they announce PS5 specs, I will be the first one to cover it, brother. So I will have you come on. Uh, I'm just gonna Neo two. Uh, so Neo two, uh, according to White Zaddy, is an 86. So um, you know, it's this is good. This is real good too. Um, to master the lethal arts of the samurai as a mystery half human, half supernatural, Yakuwa warrior. Uh, this is already way out of me. So, uh, but yeah, shout out to the people playing it. It's got an 86. That's that's good. So, I mean, guys, my, my point is that we've got two, according to White Zaddy, okay, we've got two strong games that are out, and uh, you have a group of people who are uh, still talking specs. So Nicholas Taylor says Chrono Trigger is better than Chrono Cross. What's the difference in the two? So the Almighty Spartan God is that is that new 11.6 T flops one. Uh, yeah, hold on, somebody's calling. Hold on. There we go. People are trying to sell me insurance. Okay, hung up on them. So, um, is he eleven point six? Well, you know who said it was going to be eleven point six months ago was Foxy Games UK. So he said eleven between. He said I think yeah eleven eleven point six. I said it was going to be what Luwafa told you guys it was going to have the same performance of a Vega sixty four, which is roughly where they're going to be at. So guys, look, we're. There are people here actually using the information super highway to give you information. And there's a group of people that are just full retard. OK, it is what it is. So and if you all and I know there were people in this in this stream right now who were here when I flat said, hey, this is from Lou Wapa. You are going to get a GPU on a PS5 that's going to give you the performance of a Vega 64. So, you know, that it is it is what it is. So and people need to stop pretending that I didn't say that. And again, if you don't, that's that's if, if you I, I'm done talking about it. Like I said, you know, I'm the one that's going to give you the most accurate information. I am not going to be on here speculating. I did with that tech power up thing. That was just for fun. You know, shout out to uh, the crap gamer because he made a good point on his stream when he said this is the same website that these idiot xbox guys use to justify what they were saying about the xbox you see what i'm saying so it was just all in fun so and and for the record there will be no difference in uh what the xbox does and what the playstation 5 does no differences at all none whatsoever so um you know <laughs> You've just been talking. Yeah, I just was. Now we're talking games. Yeah, we talked specs for, what, two minutes? And then we moved off of it. So, but, uh, mm. ah, woo. Ah, Wolf of Reserve does that. So, all right, we already have white, white Zaddy scores up there. Look, Neo got a strong score. If you like Neo 1, looks like you'll like Neo 2, okay? Uh, and uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps got a 90. That's a... Um, is that hold on? Is that that's the one of the highest rated games this generation, isn't it? Isn't it? What's what's Xbox's highest rated game according to White Zaddy? So you know, uh, watch it, watch it, Rudy Legends. Okay, one warning. So that's your that's your first warning. 
But uh, let's see what Zaddy gave. Uh, what, what did he give the first story? Let's see here. Let me pull it up here on the screen here. So the first Ori, I can't find it. What's it called? Or oh, it's called Ori in the Blind Forest. There we go. All right, so it got an 88, and so this one got a 90. So this is yeah, roughly yeah, that's good. So what is the highest rated Xbox game according to White Zaddy? Is it Believe Forza Horizon 3? What did that get? So PS5 will have a faster SSD, so it will feel faster. Yeah, I remember, yeah, it's got a fat pipe. That PS5's got a fat, got a fat pipe. So back to Neo 2, go out and get that. Uh well, right now I'm not getting anything except that GPU, bro. And shout out to everybody uh who helped that happen. So uh, let me guess, 52CU, that's 1743 megahertz at 11.576 teraflops. Um, give or take, that's what, it's, that's what it's tracking right now. Nothing's been confirmed. Uh, 2060 or 5600 XT. Now, you know I'm an AMD fanboy. You got to, you know, I can't stand the video. I hate NVIDIA like like a Jerry Curl hates an Afro, okay? So, uh, yeah, do not I, – I will always buy AMD stuff before I buy NVIDIA stuff. So, uh, but, yeah, uh, Mighty Spartan guy got a 91. I thought something got a 94. So as far as the four with a 94, okay, that's what I thought. So are you going to order it today? Um I, well, you have the, you have an AMD CPU, so I would get the AMD GPU. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, you definitely got you 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 got to pay the cost to be the boss. So uh, that's just my opinion. If you're asking me for it, I would get the AMD GPU. I'm getting mine next week. I'm walking up the Best Buy, and uh, I am going to pull the trigger on that GPU. I'm very excited about getting that GPU. So. Uh, you buying an Xbox Series? Me personally, no, I'm not. I am not. So, uh, but again, shout out to everybody that's buying one. And uh, yeah, I, I know BitCloud's gonna buy one. Uh, Foxy Games UK, he said they're they're buying one. So uh, those guys will. Uh, I'm not. And I'll look into it in two years when. And, and I I know Xbox is gonna have. I want to mention this. Xbox is going to have a conference. And they're going to show some of the games running on the Series X. Like, we're going to see some gameplay of Halo. Um, we're going to see Halo. We're going to see the game from, I think it's a Compulsion Studios. We're going to possibly see the Fable game that everybody's excited about, been talking about. Uh, we may even see a Perfect, is it Perfect Dark? Uh, hopefully I'm saying that correct. Or uh, Perfect Something. Um, Resident Evil. Not Resident Evil, I'm sorry. Uh, like their next, the, the games that the studios are physically working on, they actually have some tech demos with gameplay, and we may see some of these games at Microsoft. They're going to have it on Mixer, which I don't know why, because Mixer, according to everybody, is a dying platform. So uh, maybe people will watch it if if you're interested in it. Uh, go check that out. So. So it's running at 3.6 gigahertz. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> so, uh, wow. Phil told you not to, so you don't. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be 3.6 gigahertz. That's a pretty powerful CPU. That, let's see what that will put it on the level of. Um, let's see here. Let's see, AMD 3.6 8. Or that will put it on. Oh, come on, guys. That puts it on the same level of a 3700. So 3.6. Are you guys? Well, there's also the eight core. Well, here's the 1800X. So, um, but guys, come on. I mean, 3.6 gigahertz and eight cores. Um, that's an 1800X. So. You know, just um, <laughs> so um, again, I'm not saying you're wrong, but wow, are you absolutely sure about that? So, oh, you're guessing. Okay, so take it with a grain of salt. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I thought that maybe that's fine. I mean, I, we know it's going to be eight cores and stuff like that. So, 
Um, wow. I just I didn't know if you all had that clock speed down. Guys, hit the like button. Neo2 is running on 4.2 T. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, look, look, uh, look, I am not the T flop guy. I don't care. So um, yeah, I, uh, CRU, I would get the 5600 XT. And um, yes, enjoy it. Uh, hopefully it works for you. I know you had some issues. You said with the motherboard, you thought the motherboard was bad. So, you know, but I certainly hope you that works out for you. Um, so what else have we gone over here? Uh, we talked about Ori and the, we talked about Ori. We talked about uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn. We were on, yeah, PS5 specs, we did that. Oh no, E3. We talked about Sony clarifying its future. We know there's a bunch of butt hurt Negroes that don't like it. Fair enough. Um, no E3 2020. Yeah, let me just speak on this. This cause of this uh, virus. And um, look, guys, I mean, they had to do something to stop this virus. They've got to contain it. And uh, I want to give a shout out because I've given him a hard time. Let me give a shout out here to Matt's Gaming. Uh, he apologized for what he said. He took his L, if you want to look at it like that. And uh, granted, look, he made his statement out of ignorance. And uh, he admitted that. Let me make this clear. He manned up and he admitted it. He admitted he was wrong for the way he talked about it. And uh, he said, you know, and not going into what he said, you know, not that big a deal as far as what he said. But I'm glad he said it. And uh, so if, if we're going to bust his balls on certain things. We got. I'm giving credit where credit is due. And um, <laughs> So um, let me check out the messages here. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Uh, is that and that? There we go. Um, there we go. So, um, but yeah, just uh, they had to do something. I certainly hope. Look, E three for me as an old head. E three used to be. And oh, if anybody wants to put who is off today and wants to play the division part two, I'm talking about hunkering down and playing the division part two. Okay. If you want to play the division part two, I will be home at 1 p.m. I will turn on my PlayStation. I will leave it on from 1 p.m. to 1.30 to see if I get an invite to play. And I'm 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 starting at the beginning. I am starting at the beginning. So if you all want to play, I will be home at 1 p.m. today, give or take. And if I get an invite between 1 and 1.30, I'll jump on at 1.30. So Ori is broken on the PC. Ugh! So you'll get a 5600 XT, and when, when your RX 5800 is fixed, you'll use them together. How is that possible? One is they're two different architectures. So, okay. But anyway, E3, uh, Sony pulled out, pulled a Ron Jeremy. They pulled a Craig the Tech guy, and they pulled out. Uh, Nintendo's not really there anyway. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, E3 for me, they used to show the game. They used to show gameplay. Then they would give you a release date. They quit doing that years ago. So to me, E3 became uninteresting. And, yes, you guys are right. They would show a game and it got downgraded. You're 100% you're correct, okay, on that. And um, so, uh, but at the end of the day, E3 was just not what it used to be. And people were saying that, um, you know, Sony not going, they don't have nothing to show and all that kind of stuff. That's complete trash. Uh, E3 is just not what it used to be. And um, let's, what's the screen name? I'm not for sure. Uh, I'll, I, honestly, I do not know my PSN name because I don't hardly care about it. Uh, so I just don't. So, But if anybody wants to play, I'll play it. And I'm talking about playing it for a while because I ain't got no weapons. I ain't got no nothing. So he's an E tree been dead since 06. Um, see, for me, it died when, um, when um, you had a group of people saying that Xbox One E3 because they showed, they showed, uh, they bought game studios, and they showed they were committed to be like a girlfriend that that, that uh, they these guys got down on their knee and put a promise ring on, like they were 19 years old. Just this moist as hell. 
But, um, you know, this blue pill, moist, millennial bullshit, you know, and uh, and Sony actually showed gameplay. Nintendo showed gameplay. I'm like, dude, Sony showed The Last of Us Part Two, and they showed two women tongue kissing each other. You know, and you're going to say, well, Microsoft bought Compulsion Studios, and therefore, this is the better E3. I get this type, nigga. You know, so, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, E3 died. And I'm not saying that is, and I'm not using that as a pun. E3 died for me personally that that day when you literally had a studio show games, show gameplay, and you have people saying, well, they don't care about gameplay. That's bullshit. That's what E3 used to be about. It's no longer about that, obviously. So to me, it died. But uh, yeah, I get if people want to say it died in 1998. Fine, I mean, I gonna argue with you. So um, that Sony feels they're bigger than E3. Do you know the way? I still don't know the way. Okay, I do not know the way. So, <laughs> uh, you feel like you haven't heard any um the vision to part two that is outside of honeymoon phase uh, about dropping third no 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 the division part two was only three dollars that's the only reason why i bought it it cost me three dollars and 17 cents on ps now so uh if anybody wants to play again i'll be home at you know one o'clock and um i'll jump on the playstation i'll be playing on the pc i've been playing on pc that has totally changed the way i i game now I much rather game in high ultra graphics and um, I rather game in higher graphic settings and higher resolution. That's just me. That's that's why I'm I'm gonna get this new GPU that does 1080p ultra on all my games. I ain't gotta worry about different stuff. So now there's some games that are just not well optimized, like what Jemiah Dixon was saying about Assassin's Creed, stuff like that. So Sony has their own theater in New York. Microsoft has theirs in LA. Yeah, true. Sure enough. Sure enough. That's in four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I got to run to the grocery store and get some stuff because people are panicking. <laughs> there ain't no toilet paper. Put it like that on competitive. Um, I have some TP. I'm good. But um, yeah, I need to go get some stuff to, you know, because I'm off work till Tuesday. So I got to go kind of put some stuff in the, in the fridge, in the pantry. So... Is it crossplay with PS4? What's with uh, the Division Part Two? I don't think so, but hey, I don't know. I don't know. So, but it, anyway, like I said, I mean, I wouldn't. I, I'm going to play the Division if I can get some people to play with. Because when I tried to play this the single player, um, it, it I can play. I got to like level three, and then it got too hard. And I'm like, all right, this is getting way too hard for me to play. And it's because it's designed for you to play with co-op with other people. So I will play. We need to get three three other people, and uh, we can burn it up today. Because like I said, I'm off today. I'm not doing nothing today. Anybody wants to play some games online? Um, if not, I'll be on my PC. You know, I'll start playing Mass Effect. And when that happens, see ya. You know, <laughs> you know that I'm playing Mass Effect too. So, so you don't have it on PC. I don't have it on PC either. So I'm, I have it on PS4. So if you have it, have it on PS4. Uh, if anybody wants to play, let me know. It's at one o'clock, you know, I have it on PS4, so I don't have it on PC because on PC you got to download this stupid Ubisoft thing, and I ain't gonna do it. So you have it on PC, but you're maxed out. Yeah, see, you probably won't want to play with me then because I'm, I'm like level one. So you know, I've I've played it for, and then I I got rid of it. I'm like, this is stupid. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm level. That's what I need to do today. I need to get to like level five or six and level up the gear. JD33 says Pepsi 36. That is your game tag. Well, again, if JD, if you want to play, after, uh, hit me up between one and one thirty. This y'all send me the invite. I'll I'll be ready to play. You know, just send me the invite. So, and because uh, the, the whole setting it up and all that stuff, I don't do that because I don't I don't play games online. So. Um, you know, but it is what it is. But guys, I am gonna start to get ready to jump off of here. I am sorry, E3 did get canceled. I'm not a total bastard. Um, I don't like it. I don't like what's going on with this virus. Uh, Italy, people in Italy are going to die because what's happened in Italy is 
they have more people sick than um, than they have people to take care of them. So those people are going to die. You know what I'm saying? So that's just unfortunate. So you'll gift me the Division Two on PC. Uh, really? Cool. But don't I, don't I have to download all that other stuff? So you'll be on Orion War Zone tonight. Yeah, I'm situated Spoon 26. Yeah, that's me. But uh, yeah, uh, that's on PS4. Uh, yeah, but if you do that, man, great. That'd be fantastic. So thank you, China, for the coronavirus. Uh, the coronavirus has been on Earth for millions of years. So, but let, let me show you the mask that we had to go and get fitted for. Let me see here. Um, um, Let's see here. Is it on Amazon? Really? <laughs> uh, let me see if we can show you the res the respirators. Yeah, here we go. Um, uh, let me see here. Um, let me go to... Because these are special fit masks that we have to wear. So I don't know if they have them. Do we have them? Um, all right, let me just put this up here. This is now these are fitted masks, you all. If you if you all buy these, they won't work for you all because they have to put us in this device. And they spray sugar water, and you have to stick your tongue out. And if you can taste the sugar water, um, it that means the mask isn't tight enough. And they literally start to tighten this friggin' mask around you. And uh, that's what we have to wear. Uh, that's what we have as professional healthcare people. That's what we're wearing. Uh, the 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 facility I work at is almost locked down. You can barely travel in it. You got to take the stairs. We're on the third floor. You can imagine the angst that we're working with now. Uh, so um, it's a uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's this is what we're wearing. And it sucks that we're having to wear shit like this. So uh, and it hurts. It hurts your face to have to wear this because it's it's fit to your face. So uh, so it sucks. So. I bet y'all treat Fitty the PlayStation will dominate next year. I, well, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue out of me. So, but yeah, uh, 901, if you're going to do that, that's fine. But I don't, don't you have to download all that other stuff with it? And, um, you know, oh, if you want, if you want to gift me something, you can give, uh, how about Assassin's Creed Odyssey? <laughs> Cause I love that game. I mean, you know, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. But uh, again, if you anybody wants to play the Division Part Two on PlayStation and maybe PC, just let me know. Nine hundred one, just send me a tweet. Uh, you got my Twitter handle. Um, just let me know if anybody wants to play it on either system. I guess is the best way to put it. And uh, let me know. But it's about ten thirty, guys. Are there any questions at all? So. That's right. The Xbox people that I know, they do play their games, and there are a group of them that don't. So that's reality. So, but um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So you got uh, all kind of things going on. Apparently, the Silent Hill reboot is good. Is is real? That's what people are saying. So, shout out to J Tech. Looks like he's gonna be playing Neo too. I mean, shout out to y'all buying the games. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, God of War Part Two is um, uh, it's today's his birthday. Today's his birthday. So, all right, but guys, if there are no more questions. I am going to get on off of here. Uh, I assume there'll be an RGT. What brand? Uh, all right, let me show it to you before I get on off of here. Um, 
let's see here uh, if I got to pull it up here. Um, Cause I think I still have it in my cart, but um, let's see here. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see what's in my cart. Um, let's see here. What is in my cart? What is that? Okay, let's get that out of my cart. We don't need that anymore. Um, um, there we go. Um, trying to find. It's called the Power Cooler. Unleash the gaming power. <laughs> so that's what it's called. So it says the Power Cooler. Uh, 5600 XT. So that's what I'm getting. So the one that says T, the one that says thick two or something like that, is that the one? And I have a 350 motherboard, so I certainly hope that uh, the 350 motherboard can hold it. So what's up, Mega Devo? So. AMD 5800 people believe it's the PlayStation GPU. Uh, okay. Well, again, we'll find out. We will find out. So uh, we're going to find out. Yeah, that's the one I'm getting. But, um, you know, so those are make sure it's not a reference design, please. Those are terrible. Um, a reference design on what? Are you talking about the 5600 XT? The, the one that's supposed to be terrible is the... The THIC, something like that, too. I heard those are bad, but um, um, your rising board will be fine. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was gonna, I'm still gonna get a new board, but I'm just, I was gonna wait till the end of the year to get it because I'm gonna get a new, uh, I'm gonna get that, then I'm gonna start saving for the, um, for a new, um, for the PlayStation. That's gonna be the next thing I get. So I have the 350B motherboard, uh, Prime something. So the graphics card, well, I mean, which version of the 5600 is the best one to buy? Because that's the one, I mean, I haven't, I haven't bought it yet. I'm going next Saturday, the, 20, the 20th or 21st. I plan on going on the 20th. Uh, I got to make two stops. And then, and then after that, bank, pay one bill, then I'm going to Best Buy. <laughs> Reference design, don't have a better cooling. Oh, okay. Well, I got you. I got you. So, yeah, I got you. So, uh, but yeah. So, but it was only two eighty nine. That's why. I, but I'm getting the one at Best Buy. So let's look at the one that's at Best Buy. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see here. Um. That's 289 as well. So um, let me uh, put this on the screen before we bounce out of here like a bad check. So here's the one I'll be getting. So um, raw too, because it says raw. You know, I like going raw, so that I got to put that in my computer. So uh, yeah, I'm getting the raw two, baby. So that that's named after me. But guys, I'm gonna get off of here. I got to go. My limousine will be here in about another 20 minutes. So uh, you all stay blessed. Take it easy. Hit me up on the PlayStation if you all want to play. And uh, 901, if you want to get that, man, I appreciate you. And uh, man, you all have a good good day. Stay safe. Wash your hands, guys. Stay safe. And I uh, hope you and your families are uh, going well. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace out.